みなさん、こんにちは。僕はニックです。これは日本語のストリームです。頑張ります。Guys, we're going to be doing another Japanese stream today. And it has been going for the last 92 days, so let's make it another one. If you don't know the channel, it's called The Voice of Nick. I play video games live three times a day and seven days a week. This is a Japanese stream. It's a secret fourth daily stream in which I brush up on my Japanese through Duolingo, and you guys are able to join along with me. Um, if you want to see which games are being played on the channel, though, you can type exclamation mark games in the chat. You'll get a full list of all seven concurrent gameplay series going right now, including many Japanese language games. So you'll be able to continue your lessons through those. If you like what you see today, don't forget to hit that follow button. Up top, you see a follower goal of eight. We're currently at one, so we're getting there, guys. We have crossed the threshold on the beginning of that goal. And the 24th entry in the Twitch playbook is out right now as well. That one is called. The、uh, Where to Find Inspiration for Your Channel. And、uh, this one's going to help you to come up with creative places to find inspiration on your Twitch. Fun fact the best place to find inspiration is actually not on Twitch.、Uh, because if you're only looking to Twitch for inspiration, then you're going to look like a lot of other channels out there. I think you should、uh, be taking inspiration from a lot of things in your life. I think you're leaving a lot of potential、uh, inspiring things on the table. So I give you some insights about where I've been drawing my inspiration from. Give it a look. If you don't know the Twitch Playbook, it is a free podcast I created to help all of you guys in this community either create your own Twitch channels from scratch or improve on an existing channel if you already have one. Every episode is 10 minutes or less, and it's been coming out for the last 24 weeks in a row without fail, so there's plenty of it. If you、uh, want to find it for yourself, you can type exclamation mark playbook in the chat. You'll get a link to it. And it's on Spotify, it's on iTunes, it's on all the major podcast platforms. So you can just search the Twitch Playbook on whichever podcast platform you like as well. You'll see it there、uh, also. Now,、uh, let's jump into the Japanese stream. We are going to up that brightness, gonna turn on those headphones, and we're gonna play the game. We're currently at 16th on the、uh, leaderboards here, as you can see. Let's see if we can't make that a little better. Good evening, goodbye.、Uh, konbanwa, sayonara. Konbanwa. さようならお願いしますお願いしますはじめまして Oh, you could also say よろしくよろしくお願いしますお願いさようならおやすみなさいさようならおやすみなさいはじめましてはじおやすみなさいおやすみなさいこんばんはこんばんはどうもすみませんどうもすみませんおやすみなさいおやすみすみませんすみませんこんにちはさようならこんにちはさようなら All right, here we go Very good. Here we go. Tanaka des, Yoroshku. Tanaka des, Yoroshku. Please, Onegai Simas. Onega, Kumbanwa, Kumbanwa. Domo, Sumimasen. Got him. Good stuff. That's our first one down. No, thank you, Duolingo. And let's jump in. Chrysanthem, welcome to the stream. Let's get a Konnichiwa for Chrysanthem joining the show. How are you doing today, Chrysanthem? Welcome in. Now,、uh, we're going to do another one of these basics intro greetings. We're getting pretty close to maxing out greetings here. Good morning. Ohayo gozaimasu. Ohayo gozaimasu. Arigato. Arigato. ありがとう。ありがとうございます。こんにちは。こんにちは。すみません。Or, ごめんなさい。ごめありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。おはようございます。おはよう。ございます。おはようございます。おはようございます。こんにちは。こんにちはどうもどうもどうも
どうもありがとうどうもありがとうどうもありがとうございますどうもありがとうございますごめんなさいごめんなさいおはようおはようグッドスタ Here we go Practice time みみみみみてんてんあめあめあかるいあかるいうんきき。コーヒー There is not a small amount of coffee. See that one, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, コーヒーは小さくないです Small amount. 少しくないです少な,少なくないです少なく少なく少なくないです。Interesting. So it would be コーヒーは少なくないです。ないです。We're gonna get it wrong. コーヒーは少なくないです。少なくないです。全部とても美味しいです。全部とても美味しいです。全部。うん Something is very delicious, but I don't know what Zenbu is. I guess we don't need to know what it is. Zenbu to temo. To temo. Oishi des. All of them. Zenbu. Zenbu. A drink, please. Nomimono kudasai. Nomimono o kudasai. Kohi ga sknai des. Kohi ga sknai des. Um, there's a little bit of coffee. コーヒーが少ないです。There's not much coffee. There you go. Is it not a small amount?、Um, is it not a small amount? God, these triple, double, triple negatives are really messing me up. Sknaku nai desu ka? Sknaku nai desu ka? Shio ga kekko oi desu ne. Shio ga kekko oi desu ne. So it's、uh, quite a lot. Or quite. I think oi is a lot. Quite a lot of something, isn't it? But what's shio is、uh, sugar? It might be salt. Shio ga kekko. Kekko. Oi. 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 It's quite a lot of salt, isn't there? It's not a small amount, you know. Uh. Chikaku nai. No. Sknaku nai desu ne. ですよ。少なくない。ないですよ。ですよ。お飲み物は何にしますか。お飲み物は、that's a, a drink。as for a drink。なに。なんに。I think they're saying。so like。what。into。しみますか。I gotta see that。I gotta hear that again. お飲み物は何にしますか何にしますか I think they're saying, because します is to do. To do, what would you like to do in as for a drink? I think they're saying, what do you want to drink? お飲み物はお飲み物何にしますか What would you like to drink? There you go. I want something to drink.、Um, 飲み物が欲しいです。が欲しいです,です。このラーメンはとても美味しいです。このラーメンはとても美味しいです
This ramen is very delicious. このラーメンはこのラーメンはとてもおいしい,おい,しいです,です,です。ラーメンもカレーもコーヒーも全部好きです。ああ、that's a good one. ラーメンもコーヒーもカレーも全部好きです。I like all of them. Ramen, curry, and coffee. Welcome the Goonie to the stream. Let's get a Konnichiwa to the Goonie. Welcome in. Ramen mo, kare mo, kohi mo, zenbu ski des. That means、uh, ramen, curry, and coffee. I like all of them. I don't know if they're going to accept this phrasing. I like all of them, colon, ramen, curry, and coffee. That's interesting. We've never seen this sentence given to us before. I like when they give you a new sentence using concepts you know, but not the actual sentence you know. Because sometimes you kind of fall back on memorizing which sentences they have the ability to give you. Can you say I'm eating fish and potatoes and broccoli?、Um, Sakana to potato to broccoli ga. That's how you say it. That, what I said was right now I'm eating、uh, fish and potatoes and broccoli. Let's actually do it on translate. We actually do that on the stream. We,、uh, we do challenges on the stream. So here we go. Ima wa sakana to potato to. ブロコリうん、they're not giving me a ブロコリ I might, have, I might not have the right word for broccoli Oops とブロコリ Well, let's just see if that works が食べます Now I eat fish and potatoes, but they don't have broccoli. Oh, look, they do have it. Brokkoli. But they just. Oh, it's brokkoli. It's an extended.、Uh... So if I was saying that, a person would understand it. But if I was typing it, I have to remember that broccoli has an extended ending. It's like this brokkoli. 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 Oh, thank you for the challenge, Goonie. Now I have fish, potatoes, and broccoli. Although that's weird because this is the word for eat. Tabemas. Interesting. Good to say, I'm so happy you're learning this language. Yeah, it's been going pretty well. Today is day 93 of、uh, Japanese streams. We're almost at 100 of these,、uh, of these Japanese Duolingo things. What a beautiful language. Keep it up. Thank you, Goonie. Yeah, it's been a, lot of, a whole lot of fun here. Chrysanthemum loves this language too. It's very engaging. I think the fact that it's a completely different alphabet, too, is part of, the, part of the fun, you know? It's like, it's a whole new thing to learn. It's like, you know what it's like? It's like starting The Witcher 3 <laughs> or starting Red Dead Redemption 2 and be like, wow, there's a whole world out there. You know, there's nothing I already know about it. Zenbu kudasai. Zenbu kudasai.、Uh, all of them, please. Zenbu kudasai. Zenbu kudasai. Ramen ga totemo skunai desu. Ramen ga totemo skunai desu. I think that means、uh, there's really not a lot of ramen. Oops, I'm still on my Japanese keyboard. Kekko oishi desu. Kekko oishi desu.、Uh, that means、uh, it's quite delicious. Oh, they take my typos. They know what I meant. Kare ga skunai desu. Kare ga skunai desu. Uh, there's not a lot of curry. Kono kare wa oishi desu. Kono kare wa oishi desu. Let's look at a picture of. I want to get hungry. Japanese curry. Yeah, baby, look at that. I want that. Although there's not much in there. This is more of like, usually you have more、uh, sort of like stuff in it. Yeah, that's a katsu curry right there. That's what I want. Give me that. 
I want that curry. I can't grab it. I'm stuck inside the TV. I want it. Man. Goody's saying different human languages are just so interesting. When you think of the scope and time and distance that created different languages, what an interesting way life adapts. Yeah, it's fascinating to me um, how that stuff would form on its own. I mean, Japanese is, uh, you know, there's a lot of these things where, like, uh, you know, a lot of Western languages came out of, um, you know, what's it called? The, that dead language. And uh, Japanese came out of Chinese. And that's why the. Uh, the kanji alphabet is actually uh, Latin. That's what it's called. Thank you, Guinea. Uh, the Japanese, though, came from Chinese. And uh, that's why, number one, the kanji alphabet is literally the same as the Chinese alphabet. Um, so they have different pronunciations, but all the letters are the same. And somebody who was learning Chinese actually came into the stream. And I started typing things in Japanese using kanji. And they were like, oh, I could totally read that. But you know, the way that you say it in Japanese is different than the way I would say it in in uh, in Chinese, which is really interesting. But then also, the word for China is uh, is this, uh, 中国. And the, uh, this, this uh, kanji means like inside or like center. And uh, it basically means like it's the center of the world or like it's where, where their culture came from. It's like center. I think that's kind of uh, kind of interesting. There's not a small amount of coffee, so that would be a skunakunai. Oh, kohi wa skunakunai desu, or maybe ga you would use. You could really use either. Kohi wa skunakunai desu. Got him. So we're sitting at number fifteen on the leaderboards here. And that's a pretty good spot to be in. But in order to upgrade, we need to get above the tenth, or above the eleventh spot. So I don't know honestly that we're going to get there, but you know, we we could. We could. Can you see my brother wants a new Mandarin? He visited there sev multiple times when he was younger. Wow, that's really cool. I've been to Shanghai. I'm not sure which dialect they speak in Shanghai. I was there for like two days. Uh, I went there just to go to Disney. <laughs> Shanghai Disney, which, by the way, obviously expensive plane ticket to get to Shanghai, but I had gotten kicked off a United flight, so I had a free voucher uh, that paid for the entire plane ride, so that was great. Uh, and I, uh, and Disney, if you go, go to Disney, everything in Shanghai, honestly, their dollar is so weak that a uh, Disney ticket, if you, you know, a Disney ticket in California for both parks is roughly $180 which is a lot of money for a single day. In Shanghai, the amount of money it costs to go to Disney is 50 US dollars. So, and everything scales like that. So you buy food, we would literally be buying like three meals at the same time, eat like a few bites from each one and then throw it away. But like, because we wanted to try all the food in our like one day that we were there and it was so cheap, you would be doing that and it would cost you like $8 or something. It was crazy. Anyway. If you're planning on going to Shanghai, plane ticket, prohibitively expensive sometimes, unless you get uh, kicked off a United flight. Uh, but all the stuff is very cheap, so pro tip. So we're gonna try a time practice here, guys, and that means that I'm gonna try and do this on a 30 second timer that only refreshes once you get an answer right. So uh, it might go really badly. Send some hearts, though, we're gonna do our best. Goonie's saying, my brother once explained it to me this way, a bottle of water in the US is a dollar. The US dollar in China will get you eight dollars of water. Holy crap. Eight bottles, rather, of water. Um, yeah. Man. Yeah, so it's eight times as, as cheap. I guess Disney, then, is a little bit expensive uh, by China standards, because it was only about three to four times uh, less expensive than America. But yeah, we were definitely noticing that with the food. And it's good, because we were only there for a couple of days, but we got to experience a lot of cool stuff, uh, because we could just, you know, brute force it. Good old US dollar. In, in Tokyo, it's slightly less expensive too, but uh, it's really roughly the same uh, for everything. All right, here we go. Let's try it. I'm not entirely confident in, because it's going to make us practice the newest stuff, and I'm not that confident in the newest stuff we just learned, but we'll try it. Here we go. Minto. Min Soy sauce is shoyu. Sugar is, I don't know, amai or something? Sato. Sato. Didn't know it. 
The wind blows weakly in the summer. Natsu wa kaze ga yowai desu. Natsu wa, I don't know which one's natsu. Maybe this? Natsu wa kaze ga yowai desu. Yowai. Oop, I said demo. Chotto no aida isogashi desu. I'm busy for a little while. Chotto no aida isogashi desu. Damn. Can I get some sugar? Uh, damn, we're gonna lose it. What was sugar again? I don't know. You got two answers correct. I like that they count that as like a positive thing. Like, yeah, you got two answers. It's not like you missed 20 answers. You got two answers. Yuki. It's you snow. Can. We shouldn't do the timed ones until I've like solidified because it's testing us on all the stuff we just learned in the last like two days and you don't really remember the stuff that you learned most recently. Last month I called my friend Japan on the phone. Sengetsu wa Nihon no Tomodachi ni Denwa o Kakemashita. Sengetsu Nihon no Tomodachi ni Denwa o Kakemashita. Aki. Konban wa Yuki ga furimasu. Konban, is that it? Yuki ga furimasu. Cooking is ryori. Oh, look at the little cook guy. We haven't seen him yet. Ryori. It takes about five minutes to get from the train station to the hotel by car. I don't know if I remember this one. Um, train station to the hotel. Eki kara hoteru made. Kuru made by car. Gofun uh, Kakari? Something like that. Well, we're just gonna not say uh, about Gofun Kakarimas. I, I wanna say Kakarimas. Oh, look, it's right there. Sometimes you gotta trust your instincts. Like, I honestly didn't know. I didn't know, but. It was in the back of my mind, and I was like, I, I gotta just say something. And it turns out it was right. I wonder what the. I think it's Gofun Kurai Kakarimas. Yeah, Kurai. Kurai. We'll, we'll give it to us that time. Uh, Chrysanthem, it's been fun to watch. Thank you, Chrysanthem. Let's get some hearts in that chat. Appreciate that. Goonie's saying that's very specific. Oh, yeah, the train station by car thing. It's actually a really good sentence to learn, though, because it has a lot of concepts in it. You know, like from this place to this place. Using a car is like a specific concept, like th about five minutes, like that's like a time concept. There's a lot of like meat in this sentence, which I appreciate. But yeah, if you, if you apply it very, very uh, rigidly, there's not many instances where you'd really use it. Um, okay, so ekikara, ekikara, where's eki? Do they have kanji for eki? Is this it? I don't think that's eki. It has to be one of these kanji then, because I'm not seeing it. Eki. Well, there you go then. Eki kara, kara hotel, hotel made, made, kurumade, kurbe, gofun, gofun, kurai, kurai, kakari, kakari, mas, mas. There we go. When you say I speak a little Spanish, as I live in Texas, where a significant portion of the population speaks it, but it, not Spain Spanish, but Tex-Mex, they differ quite a bit. Interesting, huh? Tex-Mex is more than just a food, I, I suppose. Um, yeah, I would like to learn Spanish. It seems like a very useful language. Also, whichever is the kind of Chinese that is used for business is supposed to be really useful. I'm not sure which, uh, which uh, dialect that is. But uh, yeah, Japanese definitely is. I, I'm more interested in learning this one because I uh, have been to and would like to go back to Tokyo, so it's like, you know, I feel like I can use it more. Also, there's, you know, not as much uh, Japanese speaking population in LA as there is Spanish speaking, but definitely there's a lot of like Japanese places, Japanese areas that you can go to and sort of practice. Isn't it bright in the morning? I'll buy fall clothes. Aki Fuku 
Oh, that's for you. Ooh, they're trying to trick me. All right, we're going to skip that one then because we got it wrong. We got tricked. Akifuku o kaimasu. See, I should have recognized the kanji though. That's the sentence they just gave us. Eki kara. Eki kara hotel made. Made. Kurumade. Kuruma. De. Gofun. Gofun. Kurai. Kurai. Kakarimas. Kakarimas. How long will it take? This is an interesting one because it's. Mm, I'm not really sure. It's like a specific expression. I don't know. Um, hmm. Dore kurai kakarimasu ka? That's what it is. Dore kurai kakarimasu ka? But we're going to get it wrong because I didn't know it. Dore kurai kakarimasu ka? So on Duolingo, obviously you can intuit what the answer is. Like I, I still knew it in the back of my mind once I read it, but I want to be able to speak it off the top of my head and being able to read it and get it right does not help me in conversation. So I don't uh, have any interest in, in marking it correct if I didn't know it off the top of my head. So even though I obviously wrote in the right answer right there, I still mark it as wrong because I want them to bring it back later and force me to learn it. Isn't it bright? Uh, is the wind strong? Kazewa Senshu last week, Nihon no Tomodachi ni denwa o kakemashita. I called my Japanese friend on the phone. Kyo wa atatakai desu ka? Kyo wa atatakai desu ka? Is it warm today? Kyo wa that's the same sentence except last month. Goonie's saying English, Spanish, Chinese, Japanese, four most useful languages. Yeah. Yeah, I would say that's probably true. Just for general sort of usage or amount of people that speak it or yeah. Probably true. Uh, so last month I spoke to my Japanese friend on the phone. Kaze wa tsuyoi desu ka? Atatakai kaze ga fukimasu. Atatakai kaze ga fukimasu. A warm wind blows. Kyo wa atatakai desu. Kyo wa atatakai desu. Ryori wa amari shimasen. I don't cook often. Aki fuku o kaimasu. Aki fuku o kaimasu. Uh, dore kurai kakarimasu ka? Dore kurai, dore kurai kakarimasu ka? Kakarimasu ka? Kurai is roughly. Kakarimas, I don't know what that is. Dore is uh, which. So it's kind of like a weird sentence. It's more of like a like a like a saying than it is a literal sentence. And that's day ninety three in a row, ladies and gents. Good stuff. Fifteenth on the leaderboards. Very nice. Hey, Goonie, getting in with a big old cheer. Thank you to the Goonie. This is your or Goonies something show. 
That's all I got. It's your something, your something show. <laughs> thank you to Goonie for the cheer, and thank you for the challenge. Let's get a cheer message on screen, and let's get a brand new Voice of Nick voice in here. How about this one? My name is 93 Day Leonard. I have 93 days to live, and I've only lived for 93 days. I'm at the exact halfway point in my lifetime. The problem is, every day I have to legally change my name to the amount of days I have left to live, and that takes half my day just to go down to the courthouse and do that because there's a lot of bureaucracy involved and I have to fill out a bunch of forms and they keep asking me, why do you keep changing your name? Your name, And I say, ah, it's you know just my own personal. I'm not allowed to tell anyone that I have 93 days to live, but somebody at the courthouse should hopefully notice that I keep changing it to smaller and smaller days. Maybe somebody will help me. How am I gonna die at the end of these days? I don't know. I, somebody, like a, a witch doctor, told me one day, and I just believed him. I, I didn't ask how it was going to happen. But at the end of the day, does it really matter? 93 Day Leonard, that's me. I'm going to eat all the Taco Bell I want to because I need to know ev what every item on the menu tastes like before I die. That's 93 Day Leonard. I think he's a cool guy. Thank you to Goonie for that cheer. <laughs> Goonie's saying, what a life for insert number of days here at Leonard. Yeah, I guess he's only 93 Day Leonard for today. I wonder what's going to happen in 93 days. It's very uh, mysterious. Let's get a marker in there for 93 Day Leonard, and thank you so much to the Goonie. Anybody who cheers over 10 on the channel gets a Voice of Nick voice straight from the wiki as their shout out. Anyone who donates or cheers over 100 gets to summon a brand new Voice of Nick voice straight from the depths of the Nickiverse. Verse, 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 verse. Thank you to the Goonie. It is highly appreciated. Uh, we have new cheer leaderboards now as well. We have in third place, Krabby XD with 700 cheer. That is a purple level cheer. Thank you to Krabby XD. Second place is Decap Bossman with 1,600 cheer. That is a teal level cheer. Thank you to Decap Bossman. And first place is the Goonie coming in with 1,601 cheer. Uh, that is a teal level cheer as well. Thank you to the Goonie. I like the uh, the deviousness of the of the one cheer. You set it up last episode and then you knocked him down this episode. Good stuff, Goonie. Thank you for the cheers. Highly appreciated. Guys, that is also going to do it for this episode. So let's get some hype in there for uh, 93 Day Leonard, which I, I suppose we are uh, 93 Day uh, Voice of Nick on here because we have done the stream for 93 days, although uh, I hope the other aspect will not <laughs> come to pass for us. Now, let's get that raid in there. We've just been doing the stream for 93. That's the only 93 day aspect of this. Now, uh, you see the read message in there. It says, Meatball Marauders are here to party. And if you paste that on into the chat right there, you'll see it shows up as your username color. So paste that in here. We like to assemble our raiding party before we jump into the raid. And that's going to get that hype going. It's going to get our party ready to go, looking real good. Uh, and before we jump into that raid, Anybody who doesn't know the channel you're watching right now, it's called The Voice of Nick. I play video games live three times a day and seven days a week. This was a secret fourth daily stream that we've been doing for the last 93 days in a row where I brush up on my Japanese through Duolingo and you guys are able to learn along with me. Thank you everybody for joining today's show. You can type exclamation mark games in the chat if you wanna check the list of games that are going right now. There are seven concurrent gameplay series. And if you like what you saw today, don't forget to hit that follow button. Up top you see a follower goal of eight. We're currently at one, so we're getting there, guys. The 24th entry in the Twitch playbook is out right now. It is called Where to Find Inspiration for Your Channel, and that one's gonna help you to look in your everyday life for inspiration, not only on Twitch, uh, but everywhere you look. There are things that can inspire you if you only know how to apply it to back into your channel. So I try to help you with that stuff. It's gonna really jumpstart your channel, so give that one a look, guys. If you don't know the Twitch Playbook, it is a free podcast that I created to help all of you guys in this community either create your own Twitch channel from scratch or improve on an existing channel if you already have one. Every episode is 10 minutes or less, so it's very bite-sized, and it's been coming out for the last 24 weeks in a row, so there's plenty of it. <clears throat> if you want to find a link to it, you can type exclamation mark playbook in the chat. You'll get a link directly to it, or you can just search the Twitch Playbook on whichever podcast platform you prefer. It's on iTunes, it's on Spotify, it's on all the major podcast platforms. So there's plenty of places to look. If you like the channel, you want to support the stuff that I do, then consider subscribing. Subscribers get a whole bunch of stuff on here, including the voice of Nick Emo, legendary status in the chat and Discord, 200 meatballs, higher chance to win in the heist minigames, and ad-free streams. 
Another great way to support the stream is to cheer or donate. Cheers and donators both get custom Voice of Nick voices as their shoutouts. On the donation leaderboards this week, we have in third, first place rather, all the Wizard School bands with $2. That is a gold star and anonymous donation. Thank you to all the Wizard School bands. On the cheer leaderboards, we have in third place, Krabby XD with 700 cheer. That is a purple level cheer. Thank you to Krabby XD. Second place is Decap Bossman with 1,600 cheer. That is a teal level cheer. Thank you to Decap Bossman. First place is the Goonie with 1,601 cheer. That is a teal level cheer as well. Thank you to the Goonie. Thank you to everybody who supports these streams. It is highly appreciated. You're directly helping these shows to get better. Every single day, I improve at least one thing about this family of channels here, whether it is the Twitch streams you see in front of you and acquiring, tweaking, uh, improving all of the things that make these shows better, whether it's creating and posting content that goes on the social channels like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter, whether it's improving the Discord, whether it is updating the wiki, whether it is writing, recording, posting all of the Twitch playbook episodes, all of that stuff, guys, is in large part thanks to all of you for supporting these streams by cheering, donating, subscribing, gifting subs, or gifting games. Thank you so much to everybody who does it. It is so highly appreciated. Uh, let's see if we can find a channel to raid now. Let's take a look around Twitch and see if anybody is out there playing some video games, some video-based experiences, video-based interactive uh, interactive lifestyles. I don't know. I don't have another good buzzword for, uh, for video games. Goonie getting that hug in there. Oh, Geralt meditates in the background. Wow, what are the odds? Goonie, uh, thank you for that hug. And can I get some hype in there for Goonie who sent over the copy of Geralt in his third form, um, which we uh, really very much enjoyed. We just played it on our earlier episode a second ago. Now let's see if we can find a person who is playing a video game experience. Oh, this one should be fun. Okay, let's take a look at Brick and Nick who is doing, oh, I think he's at like a, he's at Lego Con right now. I didn't even know that was a thing. Let's say hi to Brick and Nick. Brick and Nick is a really, really uh, entertaining streamer who builds Legos uh, on stream very effectively and very, very ornately. And uh, apparently there is something called Lego Con, which Brick and Nick is currently walking through. So let's absolutely take a look at that, ladies and gents. Now, make sure you copy down that raid message, ladies and gentlemen. It says, Meatball Marauders are here to party. You see it in the chat right there. I'll uh, repost that uh, raid command. And uh, let's all make sure to say hi to Brick and Nick when we get in there. Guys, you're gonna enjoy the stream. I will see you all next time. We have plenty more streams coming up later today, but until then, everybody, bye-bye.